So this is the one I came up with. Some areas of my body used to remind me of everything I'm not. Now they represent everything I am. And I like this quote because, you know, I say it now and it gets chills because it's just so true. I used to look at myself in the mirror and hate myself. Everything that was different about me, I could point out and I could tell you exactly why I didn't like it, exactly why it was different, and exactly why it's not going to get better. But now that I look back, six years later, six years after my transition, um, you know, and this was before all the men's health stuff happened. Um, you know, I was at the gym and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking at myself and I can see these scars on my chest from my top surgery and, you know, I'm looking at, you know, my, my bone structure and how I look and I see this other dude and this dude and I'm looking at myself and I'm like, wow, like, I'm so fucking proud to be who I am right now. I am. Like, I really, truly am. And I couldn't say that then. And I was probably more normal then than make, some people might view me now. So this was the photo that went with the picture. I mean, the photo that went with the uh, quote. I needed a really good one, I told you. <laughs> I was not lying. This is a recreation of that famous Adam Levine naked shot. He did this for prostate cancer to raise awareness for prostate cancer. And I did it to raise awareness for transgender visibility because although he's a man, okay, so when he did this photo, everyone, this was the ultimate guy at that time. He was on the Maroon 5, he was on top of the world. He was way, like he was at his peak, okay? And every person who likes masculine energy was vibing him all day. <laughs> so they were saying, you know, this is the guy. This is the guy you want to be. This is the guy you want to be. This is a man, okay? And so me and Jason Robert Ballard at FTM Magazine, we wanted to prove that, hey, yeah, that's a man. And you know what else is a man? That's a man. If you're to say that's a man, well then that's definitely a man, right? And so we had to question, we had to make everybody question, what is a man? What is masculinity? What is being male? Okay? And this was one, this photo went super viral. I've never, I mean, I didn't even know how I felt about it, because I'm kind of naked. Uh, <laughs> right? I mean, any day, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty damn naked. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it was scary at first to put this image out there, to put my naked transgender body out there. But something about putting it out there, I really gained a large confidence. It was like, hey, you know what? I am a guy, and you know what? I'm gonna tell you every single reason why I am. And I actually had, um, I'll show you a video in a minute, I had a, uh, somebody from the Register Guard in the interview, local newspaper, he asked me, like, what is being a man? And I hate that question, because I think, you know, it's different to everybody, and it's just a thing that you know, not necessarily something you can write down. You know, it's like, oh, I'm gonna list a hundred reasons why I love you, but none of them are gonna really explain why, right? That's kind of the same thing. It's like, yeah, I can list a million things that are manly, that I like to do, you know, why I feel masculine inside. But in the end of the day, it's just an energy. I just know it. I just know it. He asks me, what is being a man? And I said, you know, that's a hard question, blah, 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 but he's pressing me. Well, what is it? What is it? He wants, he wants an answer, and he wants it now, and he wants it clear and precise, and he wants, every, he wants to be able to quote me, right? So I just asked him, I said, well, what is being a man to you? And he's like, oh, well, I was born, you know, a doctor said, I, you know, I have genitalia, so I'm a man. He's like, okay, well, what if you didn't have anything? What if we took out you know, sexual organs out of the picture of male and female. Please, sir, why are you a male? He couldn't answer me. He could not answer me. So much to the point that I asked him again, and he just kind of went on to the next question and stopped asking me the damn question. <laughs> and it's pretty interesting, you know. I, I think you all should just consider, you know, think about your, sex, your, uh, your gender expression and, like, why do you express yourself that? And it doesn't, you know, I'm not questioning it. I'm just making you question it. So the next time that you meet someone who maybe doesn't quite 
meet up with your expectations of what gender expression should or should not be, you can remember that, hey, gender expression is an expression of the person, and that's all that matters. That's me on the cover of Men's Health Magazine, the first ever transgender male on the cover of Men's Health Magazine. Yeah, it's pretty really awesome. 28 years Men's Health Magazine has been, 28 years it's been in, it's been around, and I believe for like 26 of those 28 years, they've been the number one mag men's magazine in the entire world. world. So, that was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome to go to Men's Health Magazine in New York City and meet these other four guys who were the ultimate guys, okay? <coughs> these were the ultimate men, right? And here I was being respected and treated like a man which is all you can really do for a transgender person, is treat them and respect them how they want to be treated and respected. <coughs> See them how they want to be seen, not put them in a comfortable box that makes you feel good, okay? So, it was really awesome. I gotta say, all these guys were great. They treated me amazing. They each kind of pulled me aside at one point, <coughs> said a little something. Um, at, and none of them had met a trans man or trans woman before, um, so that was pretty cool. And I made sure to let each and every single one of them know that it was important that they had met me, because now it's their responsibility, if they're gonna show respect to me in this moment, in this contest, it is their responsibility if they meet any other transgender man, woman, or a gender non-conforming person to respect them the same way they respected me. Because if they don't, then they're fake to me. And that's not true, right? I think that everybody today should go home and look in the mirror and look directly into your eyes, directly into your eyes. Don't turn away. I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to say, I'm worthy. I deserve happiness. And I want you to say that until you do two things. Either one, you think this is a load of crap, I can't believe I'm fucking sitting here telling myself this, okay? Or two, you start to cry. Because there's only two options that will happen when you do that. Saying this sucks or crying. Because there's only two things that will happen. You'll either fight yourself because you'll lay out excuse after excuse as to why you don't deserve happiness. Okay, because you'll look in the eyes of that person and you're going to tell that person that they don't deserve happiness. And that person is you. That person you're talking all that crap to is yourself. And I hope that you gain some knowledge and, and if anything, hope that you take some of the things that I asked you to do and maybe you try them out. You know, it doesn't have to be tonight or tomorrow night. But maybe in a month from now or if you're thinking about something, maybe you try it out. You just see how it goes, you know? What's the worst that happened? You'll be like, oh, this schmo told me to do this stupid thing once. Right? And that's it. But, but, what could really happen could change your life. Because you could finally look at yourself for the first time in your entire life and tell yourself that you love yourself and that you're worthy of love, of being love, of sharing love, of having love for yourself, it's called pride, not ego, okay? It's a big difference. You wanna feel confidence. I wanna provide an outlet for youth and struggling adults because not only youth are the people who are struggling. I highly, highly feel like our youth are in, are in danger of themselves these days. I think of bullying is crazy. I think it doesn't stop after 3 p.m. Because of the internet, it continues, it continues, it continues, it continues, and it continues. As many times as I said it. But I think one thing we really have to take into account, besides our youth, is our adults. Because there's just as many adults, if not more adults than youth, who feel lack, who feel worthless and not good enough. And that is important to change, because if we can change our adults and we can work on our youth, we can change the whole world. And I know it sounds, oh, we can change the world, right? Yeah, we can, okay? It can happen. It can happen. And if you don't believe it, 
yeah, of course, you're not going to help have, make it happen because you don't believe it. But if you start believing it and you try to change yourself, be the change you'd like to see. It's pretty simple. Compassion for those struggling to be themselves. I think it's important that we all know that we all go through hardships, all of us, and it's very important that we show support, that you don't talk down to somebody who's feeling depressed or you don't mock someone who's not living up to your gender expression stereotype. Also putting a very big highlight on being a trans activist. It's very important to me that the transgender community gets the respect that we deserve, as well as we are seen as equal humans, as well as all genders and races and ethnicities and religious beliefs are seen as equals because we are, like I mentioned earlier, we all are breathing each other's breath. All of our blood runs red. And it's in, well, hey, that's a good analogy for here, right? The hawks like the red. Uh, yeah, all our blood runs red now. <laughs> but seriously, it's important. The day and age we're living in is, you know, it, it, we need to realize that although it is important, we respect our separateness, okay? And, and give each other uh, respect in that sense. It's more important that we realize that we are the same and that we all deserve the equal opportunities 